Hi, my name is Stefan Sindoni. I'll be your host for this Linux World Series. In this series, I will share new information about the world of Linux that many of the viewers listening and watching this video probably know very little about. For many years, I've been a Microsoft Windows user. You might say I grew up on Windows. Later on, I switched over to Apple because of its ability to edit video software. For me, it was a no-brainer. Most of the work that I do does not require an internet connection. Therefore, Apple made the most sense for me. Then in the spring of 2014, I discovered the world of Linux. And in a rather short period of time, I converted three Microsoft Windows computers and one Apple computer, MacBook Pro, over to Linux Ubuntu. It has been now well over a year that I've been using Linux Ubuntu operating system. And I can honestly say now that I will never have a Windows Microsoft computer or use an Apple computer online on the internet. I have been switched over to a Linux computer forever. One of the strong points and one of the tipping things in the scale was internet security and Linux Ubuntu by far is more secure than either Windows or Apple. In a recent computer comparison test, senior citizens were given a Microsoft Windows computer, an Apple computer, and a Linux Ubuntu laptop to compare for user friendliness, ease of operation, and internet security. Their conclusion? Linux Ubuntu was by far the easiest of the three operating systems to learn and surf the internet. So there you have it. There's my Linux Ubuntu testimonial. In our first program, I'll read an excerpt from Ubuntu User Magazine entitled Free Software and Linux in India, Made in India. The article was written by Eric Bartwald. The website for the magazine is ubuntu-user.com. This link and any other website I mention can be found in the closing credits. Should you decide that you would like to have a copy of the magazine instead, you can purchase it at any Barnes & Noble bookstore and you'll find it right on their magazine rack. After much agonizing, Microsoft finally decided to let go of its long outdated Windows XP on April 8, 2014. Although many state agencies in Europe overslept and ended up paying for patches for common vulnerabilities with tax money, those responsible in multicultural India took another route. They parted from Microsoft and migrated to Linux. Late sleeper, India has been committed for some time to consistent open source strategy. To act on it, the country, with its more than 1.2 billion inhabitants, has worked with the research and development teams of the Center for Development of Advancement Computing, CDAC, and National Resort Center for Free and Open Source Software, NRC, FOSS, to get its own Linux distribution on its feet. The Indian Ministry of Communication and Information has developed its own Linux distribution. The system is gradually establishing itself in the local public administration as a successor to Windows XP. Boss Linux, as it is called, is based on Debian and therefore is extremely stable and not just because of Debian's long release cycles. It also provides a wealth of software applications ranging from servers to student desktops. The operating system also brings native developments from the Indian software forges. The developers also organize a regular workshop for users and solution providers. To facilitate easy entry into the world of free software, they give free disks with Boss Linux to C-DAC related organizations across the entire country. Interested parties also get free on-site telephone or email support. In the southern Indian state of Tamil, Nadu, where Boss Linux development is taking place, the strategy has already been fruitful. At the end of Windows XP support cycle, agencies are moving to the native Linux system. India's banks are already planning a large-scale migration to Boss Linux after the end of support for Windows XP embedded on January 12th. 2016. This migration should affect around 115,000 ATMs from NCR and Diebold. 
The Indian ATM manufacturer Vortex is first and foremost responsible for Linux making quick strides in the previously Windows-dominated Indian subcontinent and in many other countries in the future. With its 450 kg Echo Teller, the company is providing the world's first ATM completely running Linux. The ATM is extremely energy efficient and can run on solar power. It's also compatible for use in the hot tropical temperatures common in South Asian countries. And the BOSS Linux system is freely available in downloadable versions as ISO images. The universal desktop in version 5.0 includes a roughly 3.5 gigabyte image appropriate for 32-bit architectures. The current kernel is version 3.1 and it contains the physical address extension However, some older models, Intel processors, and many Atom CPUs can't handle it. Other than that, the extension allows access to more than 4 gigabyte of working memory, even on 32-bit systems. If you have a processor that doesn't support PAE, a version of BOSS called NetBoss, Linux is available for Atom processors. The Indian Ministry also provides EduBoss for educational applications and a BOSS server that provides a wide range of services and many among them graphical administrative tools. New to the program is the MOOL or MOOL project that by decoupling the kernel and driver modules aims to improve the system's maintenance capabilities. At first start or startup the BOSS Linux system welcomes users with a conventional visually slightly revamped grub menu that provides live operation as well as direct installation on a mass storage device. The live version starts with the GNOME desktop that informs you about the system and its free licensing on the splash screen. The system presents no driver problems even when running on advanced mobile hardware. A glance at the GNOME interface submenus reveals the usual range of today's programs including the GIMP or GIMP image editing tool and the lean Chromium web browser. In the systems tool administrative submenu you'll find the BOSS utilities which you can use to install additional programs from a separate utility CD for older BOSS versions. These utilities have been part of the DVD image since version 4 so you do not need additional disks to install the software. The term utility CD is misleading is that the provided applications are not just utilities but full-blown programs that the menus place into various groups. After you choose a group the software provides a selection of programs in it which you can check off for installation. By clicking OK the tool loads them in one swoop with all of the dependencies. Another feature of BOSS Linux is the sound and video menu. Developers integrated the XBMC Media Center so that you can turn your PC into a home multimedia center without installing anything else. To show the benefits of Linux to kids and to give them some confidence with technology, some advanced schools include computer science as part of their curriculum. For them, the BOSS team has developed a special distribution for teaching and learning BOSS. The Indian Ministry provides a 3.8 gigabyte image that downloads EduBoss version 3. Its software catalog deviates from the regular desktop as it provides various educational programs for the youngest students such as G-Compris and Child's Play. Older students get mathematical and science programs. The system also provides many teaching programs from the KDE environment. India has proven to be one of the free and open software pioneers in Southeast Asia. The nationally coordinated policies aren't limited just influencing, adopting, or rejecting industry standards, but extend to a long-term security towards a solid adoption in free software. India has developed a successful national languages specific Linux distribution with BOSS Linux that has its main use in schools and agencies, but which also will gain increased favor in the private sector. The operating system works well on older and newer hardware alike and provides a few software treats that make it interesting in the Indian market. The great new experiment, 
that Microsoft promised with its changeover from Windows XP has become a reality for Indian users thanks to Boss Linux, which is not what Microsoft intended. I'd like to thank everyone for watching Exploring Linux. This is your host, Stefan Sindoni. Till next time.